there. How are you? Welcome to Leslie's Creative Studio, where we are going to try take two, <laughs> believe it or not, in sewing our signature into our journal. This is the front of the journal. I have added a beautiful little butterfly brooch to the front. And she is taped down for the moment because I don't want her flopping around. And I have already put holes in the signature and into the cover. And I'll show you how I did that quickly. I just took a dictionary and I took my signature, pushed it down into there so it formed a nice little middle, if you will. I took my all. You could also use um, the pokey tool, for lack of a better term, by Tim Holtz, and use that. I prefer to use the pokey tool because I can really get my hand on there, and I'll stand up and just dig it right in there and get um, a lot of good leverage on that. But that's already done. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I opened it up and I was like, the L was this way. <laughs> I was like, you know what, Leslie, only you, only you would do that. So let's try this again, shall we? Uh, all right, so what I'm going to do, this should be interesting. I'm going to take my thread that I was using. Was it this one? What one was it? it was this one. All right, so this is here. Where's my end? This is a waxed linen thread. You could also use baker's twine. You could also use DMC floss. Whenever you're going to do that, though, I would run them through this. This is beeswax um, for quilters. They use this to um, keep their thread from knotting. All right, so I'm going to do one, two, three. And yes, I'm very generous in how much um, I use on my thread. I would rather have it be um, too much than not enough. I'm going to take my linen. I'm going to thread my needle. And I have you awfully far in, so I'm going to try and Out here and I apologize for the um, glare there's really nothing I can do about it but my husband bought this for me for Christmas and I'm certainly have loved every minute of it okay so I have put a hole through both here through both the, the cover and my signature here, here, and here. So it's about, it's in the middle and about an inch from the top and about an inch from the bottom. To go, I'm going to go in. <laughs> To go in real easy this way but you know what because I made that mistake we're gonna have to do it this way once we get moving it'll be a lot easier I promise Uh, 
Yep, that's definitely the hole that I went in. Now, because the hole is right on that trim, it's going to be a little bit difficult. But right, I don't mind difficult. I'm going to pull that. Pulling it way over to the side where you can't see it. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to go in this hole here. Now mind you, normally this would all be bound. Here we go. And, oh goodness, come on. Oh, a strong hand, strong hands. All right, I'm going to, I'm pulling this tight. I'm really not too worried about how tight I'm pulling this only because, you know what, I really, um, really worked hard at decorating so that it will be just fine. One you now To pull these tight. I'm pulling this direction and this direction. Put my finger on here. I'm going to go back down through this hole again. Again, this is called a three hole pamphlet stitch and I wonder if I'm going to have trouble with that. I do. Because that is that really pesky trim. As beautiful as it is, this is where I'm going to need my This has got to go through a lot. Now I'm going to pull this tight, tight, tight. Because, get my head out of the way. is ideally not <laughs> the way that you want to do it but when things are fussy and give you trouble nothing wrong with that this is not coming tight So now we're going to play with it. Finger on this here. Good and tight. Well, it would be helpful if you could see. We're good and tight on the outside, which is great. Could you hear that? 
All right, so now we're good and tight. I'm going to put my finger on it, take off my thimble. Slide this under. I'm just going to make a knot. Now that I know it's taut here and it's taut on the outside, I will slide this under to grab that. grab that um, piece of string so it's caught up in the knot one two and an extra one for good luck three just because it's been through so much let's just give it that third little knot right One, two. Now, I'm really not going to see this, and I'm going to show you why here. First thing I'm going to do, this off. Cut it right there. This will go into the scraps. Pin is going to get the needle, the pin. The needle is going to get put away. Right here. Because if I don't put it away now, I'm going to lose it. There is shooting. I will lose it. I have that. I have that. I put my thread away. All right now the next thing I'm going to do is I'll leave this open for this part of it. I've got my um, tack right here. I am probably going to need Of these because what I would like to do is cover up that. so that is going to require me to put that on like that. First of all, the lace is beautiful. Number two, I'll cover up the string for my, um, I'll call it a signature. But I moved, I have moved this out of the way because I don't want it to get caught. Oh, let's see. I'm going to need this. That. I'm going to need this. Let's cut this right. And cut that as straight as I can. Not too bad for a Monday night. At least it's Monday night here. <laughs> Now, if I re-apologize, I have my phone on um, vibrate. And because my husband's at work and this car has been acting up.
Oh my word. Let's stick it inside the pocket, my pocket, so maybe it won't be so bad. Okay, now. I'm going to take my fabric tack. Down, right about in the middle. Back. So I'm going to real good helping of fabric tack right here. Here. This over. See what I'm doing? I'm creating a hem without creating a hem. <laughs> if that makes any sense. And yes, my fingers will be full of glue, and no, I don't care. This is just glue. Wash off in the morning. Or actually later this evening. <laughs> All right, so then I'm going to take this top part, push it down. Might need to add. I pull it really tight. Abertac usually will dry pretty quick. So I ha hope you all had a good Monday. It was just so-so. It's kind of so-so. So that's almost dry there. And... Now, just remember, a lot of this extra is going to be going in scraps that I will be using later on. There, cut that off. All right, so now already bubbling out. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do the same thing down here that I did up there at the top. I'm just going to give this a real good dose of fabric tack. Just a little bit more. So, yes, I'm getting fabric tech all over the place. Ugh. I'm laughing because I'm reaching for my wet wipes as I get fabric tech 
all over the outside of my wet wipes. <laughs> way it is. Or only because I don't want it on my, um, <laughs> on here. Okay, so let's let that dry a little bit. I can get my mouse to work to pause this. <laughs> okay, I have put some Fabri-Tac down the sides of the, um, the ribbon here, the uh, lace, and now I'm working on this part. And what I'm going to do is I've glued the sides that are a little bit frayed. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this part down. Just the top part. Bring this down. And the Fabri-Tac will, um, it'll dry pretty clear. Now it's sewn underneath, but what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to bring it over, pull down on it, I'm going to tug on it a little bit and bring it over just a tad. It's going to be Or do I want this? I don't tug too much, but it's going to be right here, and I don't want it to move. So again, I'm going to go on the underside of the ribbon. And I've kind of doubled it so that no, hopefully. <laughs> of the glue seeps through it well it is it is seeping through but that's all right it'll dry it also gives it a really clean edge okay. nice and clean this will all dry now what I'm going to do is wipe off the tip of my glue. And I'm going to Fabri-Tac this down. I'm trying to remember, I believe the butterfly itself um, is attached to this using E6000. So I don't think it's going anywhere. <laughs> there we go. He's going to go right there. And then this, um, this metal piece here, I rusted it myself. The word springtime, um, I coffee dyed that and then there's some padding underneath to kind of make it lie flat. And I think I'm going to put that right about, right about there. Should probably be pretty good. Let's get this off full of, let's get this off full of glue too. <laughs> Why not? Just going to load that baby up. Okay, I can 
make sure springtime says springtime. Right. I'm going to let that kind of sink in. Dry. All right, so when I come back, we'll put the um, the holes in here for the uh, you no know, the ties. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't think straight tonight if my life depended on it. Welcome to Monday. All right, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> 